Hey everybody, it's Gypsy Wolf. I hope everybody's doing so great. Don't mind my long hiatus, but I am back. And don't mind the background. I have to redo the floors and repaint and pretty much do everything that you need to do to a home. <laughs> so just please don't look at any of that. I <laughs> Okay, so again, real quick, my name is Gypsy Wolf. And my channel is about all things that have to do with witchcraft. So if you're trying to learn about it, if it's something that interests you, I would encourage you to, you know, set a spell, join this channel, and hit the subscribe button so that way you don't miss any new content. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. All the emails I get, all the comments that I get, they all mean so much to me, and you guys are all awesome, so thank you very, very much. Okay, so let me explain to you what this video is about as I try to get comfortable here because I am leaning on a pillow <laughs> that's very small. <laughs> okay, so I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of floor sweeps and floor washes. It's more of a hoodoo tradition, and hoodoo is what I tend to practice more than other forms of magic. So if you're unable to do a floor wash, if you have floors such as the ones I have right now that cannot be mopped, you're going to need a floor sweep. Okay, so that's what we're going to make today. And this floor sweep is to bring peace, harmony, and to negate any type of negativity that might already be there. Okay, so this space for me is a newer space that I have not been in in a very long time and just the energy is a bit heavy it's a bit negative and um, I just figure as I'm unpacking and cleaning up why not do a floor sweep okay and the funniest part about this guys I was unpacking all of my herbs and 99% of them are in jars and labeled and all that good stuff as I was at the very bottom of a box of herbs there were three herbs, or botanicals, whatever you want to call them, that were still in bags. And it was so ironic. It's like, oh my gosh, these are the three things that are perfect for what I want to make. So, I'm going to, going to show you what we're going to need for this peaceful home, self-love, calming floor sweep. And then I will explain why we're adding each one as we go along. Okay, all right. Don't mind me being very quiet, but I don't live by myself anymore, and I have light sleepers in this house. Now, this mortar and pestle that I'm using, we are going to need mortar and pestle, or you can just grind things up in your hands. That's totally fine, or use a coffee grinder, whatever. This is my favorite one to use for like love herbs. Okay, all right. So here we go. Let's get started. So what you're going to need. I always use it. Salt. It doesn't have to be sea salt. That's just what I prefer to use. Okay, so we're going to need salt. You're going to need a bit of lavender bud. This is only like half of the lavender. I have sent out lavender bud to friends. I have charred it in the big, biggest jar I have, and I still have all of this, so I got a lot. So I'm going to use some lavender bud. The next that I'm going to use, I was about to throw this away because I have so many others, are some dried red rose petals. I'm going to explain why I prefer to use red in this instance in a minute. And a little bit of dried chamomile. And the next one is optional, but it just felt right to me. I'm going to be using a little bit of lemongrass, and I'll explain why in a moment. All right, so what I'm going to do now, you can light your incense if you would like. I do have crystals here. Let me see if I can show you. This is new. I love this bad boy. I've got some amethyst and some rose quartz and some selenite because I do not have my altar fully set up just yet, but I wanted to incorporate some gemstones that felt right to me. And I already cleared this space with some Palo Santo. But I always have my black candle, which I showed you guys in a previous video on how to dress 
to use to remove all negative energies, okay? I'm gonna light that. You can also light an incense if you would like an applicable one. I'm not doing that today. I might later when I charge this on my altar. We'll see. Okay, so I've got my black candle lit to absorb any negative energies. And we're gonna start. Now, you can make a large batch and you or you can make a small one. I'm just making enough for one use. But if you wanna make enough to put in a jar and use a later date a couple of times, it's perfectly fine. And I don't give measurements, I eyeball it, guys. So I'm going to start with my salt. I'm going to show you how much I'm using here. Now this is coarsely ground sea salt, okay? Now I have two rooms that I'm doing, neither of which are large, okay? So I'm gonna throw that in my mortar and pestle. Now we are using salt for obvious reasons. It clears away negative energy and it also protects. So I'm gonna bless and empower the salt. I bless and empower the salt to remove all and any negative energies, anything that is not of my own positive energy. Protect me and those that I love. Now I started with that because the salt is, like I said, coarsely ground. So this is gonna take a little bit more effort. I have to be kind of quiet. I hope I don't wake anybody with this. I might have to grind it up later when people are awake. It's kind of actually interesting, guys. It's like the people I live with are fully aware that I'm a witch and that I practice, but they're old. <laughs> so they go to bed early. Everything wakes them. So it's almost like I have to practice in secret again, which I, you know, guys, I didn't have YouTube or anything like that when I started. You guys are lucky for the ones that get to learn off YouTube. I learned a lot off YouTube once I, you know, got up and running. Like Lady Grave Dancer, she was like one of the founders, her and White Raven. So I'm just grinding up the salt and as I grind it, I'm thinking about how it's going to remove all negative energies and to protect me. You can always take a little bit of extra, so if you're doing this upstairs, like maybe in your bedroom, which is one of the rooms I'll be doing it, you can take a little extra salt and put that around your bed, okay? That's a really good way to um, stop nightmares and things like that. Okay, next, I think I will go with the lavender. I like lavender for this because it has a very feminine, calming energy to it. Just a loving, peaceful energy. I just, the scent alone just takes me to another place. I just absolutely love it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of lavender in there. It's so funny how I was thinking about making something like this and the same day as I was done unpacking all my jarred herbs, a few herbs that were not jarred, were the ones that I knew would be perfect for this, except for the lemongrass. Okay, so I'm gonna bless and empower the lavender for what we need it for, okay? Now guys, you do not have to follow what I say when I bless these things because I don't even know what I'm going to say as I bless them. I just speak from my heart, which is what you need to do as well, okay? I bless and empower this lavender to bring peace and harmony to my home. Let me feel self-love, let me feel calm, let me be trustful in my knowing of what is in my heart, amen. Now you don't have to do the Holy Trinity, you can, like I said, guys, speak from your heart, okay? That's just what feels right to me. You can also light a pink candle, which is good for self-love as you make this. You could light maybe a white one, a blue one. I think white would be good. Um, but pink is really good for self-love if you're really trying to work on that. Blue is good for healing if maybe you've got some family rifts going on, and that's why you're using this. Oh my gosh, guys. This lavender is already smelling 
So, so good. All right. Now, I'm going to do more off camera. I'm trying to make this, you know, somewhat quick for you guys. All right, so next I'm going to use just a bit of red rose petals. Now, here's why I'm using red rose petals. Now, roses, as we all probably know, are great for love. Not just love from others, but self-love. And for me, rose petals have a very protective quality, which I like. And red colored ones help protect that love even more. Whether it's self-love, love from family members, love from a partner, whatever it might be. But, you know, if all you have is, you know, a different color, that's perfectly fine. But please do try and make sure that they're dry, okay? Um, so if maybe you get a bouquet, you know, from the grocery store, dry them out, and you can use them, okay? All right, so I'm gonna bless and empower the rose petals. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, I bless and empower these rose petals to bring me lots of self-love, love for the others that I am around, let them love themselves, let me love myself. Let's be patient and kind to one another and let that love be protected. Amen. And as I climb back, I just like to envision kind of, I can envision like a pink light around myself in the shape of a heart. I know that might sound weird to some people, but that's just what works for me. And what we're going to do with this, at least for me, you know, if you're going to be using this on a floor that doesn't get mopped, you'll sprinkle it around. Um, I like to start in the north and go in a clockwise motion and then in and in and in like smaller circles, starting in the north and in a clockwise motion. And then you either vacuum or sweep it up. I like to sweep it up and then I like to take the remnants and throw them in my backyard or my trash. You don't have to do anything fancy with the remnants of this. Okay. So next is some chamomile. Now why I chose chamomile. This has a very calming effect as we all know, like when you drink chamomile tea, it helps you sleep. Um, it's gentle enough for babies. It's great on the skin also to calm the skin, by the way. Um, let me take a sip of water, guys. Very calming on the skin. So basically, all the properties of it, mind, body, and spirit are calming. But another really cool aspect of it is that it attracts money and holds on to money. It has a lot of properties of the sun and usually solar energies have a lot to do with abundance. So who doesn't want a little extra money? I know I do. <laughs> we all do, right? Who doesn't want a little extra? So I'm not adding a lot of the chamomile. This tiny bit here, it's a little pinch pinch. Get these little stems out. Okay. Notice I have my nails yellow for the summer. Going with that solar energy. <laughs> All right. And again, we're going to bless and empower that. And you do not have to bless and empower each one. I just like to do it that way. But you can wait until the end if you want to just bless the whole thing. Whatever feels right to you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I bless and empower this chamomile to bring a calming effect to myself and all that those are around it. Also bring in prosperity, abundance, and let me hold on to that prosperity and abundance. Let me remember that money will always come in. There will always be a flow of money freely. As long as I keep my heart open to it, my mind open to it. Amen. 
And then as I ground up chamomile, because I'm mainly using this one for money aspect, I'm going to think of gold coins coming down from the heavens, raining down on me. Or you could envision, you know, gold light around you, whatever feels right. Guys, you know, I get so many very specific questions when there are no steadfast answers to magic for the most part. It's all about your intention. You have to make things your own. You have to go off of your own intuition. Read a book or two. Read a book or two. <laughs> That's my big thing. You can watch all my videos, but you still need to read a bit. Get some book on, books and correspondences. And do a little bit of research. This is smelling so amazing. Oh my gosh. Wow. I could also use this as like an aphrodisiac. Oh my god. <laughs> and then the very last one that I almost was not going to add. At the very last moment, my gut told me to add it. It's a little bit of lemongrass, and here's why. Lemongrass is highly used in hoodoo. Um, you know, it's one of the main things in, uh, you know, your van van oils, things like that. It's so amazing at clearing out negative energy. So while we have all these beautiful herbs in here that are bringing us good positive energies, we want something that's also going to clear away some negative energy. So I'm going to add a pinch of that. Too much, just a little, and it smells really good too. Yep, it smells great. I'm gonna crush it all on my hands. Okay, I'm gonna put that in my mortar and pestle. I'm gonna bless and empower that. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, I bless and empower this lemongrass to remove all and negative all negative energies whether they are from myself, spoken from my own tongue, whether they are from others, evil eye, people that I think are in my corner but are not, anything that is negative and not positive, happy, remove it and only leave good, positive energy. Amen. And that's our last one. So we'll grind that up. And I like to go in a clockwise motion with this one because I'm bringing in a peaceful home. It's like, let's say you have some teenagers at home that are in a bad mood. You can bless the lemon grass to remove their attitude or whatever. You know, go with what you need, go with your gut, things like that. This really smells amazing, guys. Another cool option for this mixture, you could put some in a sachet bag. <clears throat> Excuse me. You could put some in a sachet bag. Maybe keep it under your bed if maybe you're having bad dreams or you're having problems with stress. Um, if you live with other people and they're stressed out, put it under their part of the bed. Or, you know, maybe in their car. You know, if you want them to chill out, cool down, things like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to grind it up a bit more. But that's what it looks like, and it smells so, so good. And what you will do, if you're using it in the way that I'm going to use it, you're going, like I, like I said, in a whole clockwise motion around, you know, starting in the north. You'll sprinkle it on the floor. And then you will either vacuum or sweep it up. I'm choosing to sweep, okay? You can say a prayer, a chant, whatever. As you do so, you do not need to. It's entirely up to you. But it's all about intentions. Each item that you put in here, think about why you're putting it in here, what you want it to do, and tell it what you want it to do. You do not need to follow my exact recipe. If there are things that you want to omit, omit them. If, like, Let's say you don't have lemongrass. Okay, fine. Don't put it in. That one is not as easy to find. 
or if you want to add something to it that feels right to you, add it. It's all your own. I know this video is kind of long for such a basic type of spell, but I like to give you guys all the information that I possibly can so you understand why you're doing what you're doing. Because you can read a spell and cast it, but if you don't know why the fuck you're doing what the fuck you're doing, excuse my language, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. So my goal here, guys, is to teach you why to do certain things in witchcraft. So that way, you can take that knowledge and start making your own spells and potions and powders and all those great things. So thank you so, so much for joining me. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please leave them down below. No question is a dumb question. Feel free to email me if you need specialized work. Um, I am starting to take on clients again. <sighs> Finally, <laughs> after a bit of a hiatus. So if you are looking for specialized spell work, my email for that is magicalgypsywolf at gmail.com. Again, that's magicalgypsywolf at gmail.com. If you just want a consult, same thing. Email me there. I can talk to you there. And if you just have any questions, go for it. Ask me. I love all of your questions, all of your comments. All of you guys mean so, so much to me. And um, yeah, I cannot wait to see you again. I have another couple of videos that I'm going to be videotaping and uploading in the next day or two. And I'm really looking forward to it. So as always, guys, be well and blessed be.